He's held down pretty tight. Now it's not. What did he do, Scotty? It is small. Oh, it broke. It is small world after all. It a small world after all. It a small world after all. It's a small, small world. The circus is back in town, and welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. And I'm Scotty. I hope you guys enjoyed the roller coaster video. That was actually a lot of fun to shoot. I figured I'd try to do something called lightning round, where it's gonna be really small sets. There's tons of small guys behind me that I haven't done, that you may not have heard of. So I figured I'd just review them for you. This one I did an unboxing for ages ago. If you haven't seen that, it's over here. And someone in the comment actually said, don't get it, because it just kind of sucks. Well, in my opinion, I actually think they were pretty okay. Like, it wasn't that bad, it's delicate. But here, let's see why they are like that. Here it is. So this is Zing Bao's Colorful World, XB01106789, around 660 pieces total. Yeah. So these are available on brickmeupscotty.com as a set. You can probably order it individually. I'm not sure. You might have to email us if you can buy them separately from one another. I'm not sure if the cost is higher if you do it that way. But as far as I know, you can just buy it in one set as is. So let's check it out. We're gonna start with the first one. So what you're seeing here is the Ferris wheel. It's really, really small. It's not to scale to many figures, unfortunately. No, dear, why? Now it might actually be possible to modify this a little bit to actually be able to fit a minifigure inside, but I'm not that good. But maybe you guys are good. Maybe you guys have a look at this and see if it can be done. So the first one here, the Ferris wheel, doesn't actually take that long to build. It is a little bit delicate, so you do have to be a little bit gentle when you're playing with it. Someone did mention that because it, it sucks, it doesn't work and all this kind of stuff. It does, it's totally fine with me. I had, didn't have a problem, but it can fall off on you. Look, they're still drilling up there. Stop drilling, I can hear it. You now being deaf, I can actually hear that. Anyway, back to this, yeah? The Ferris wheel actually using a little bit of Technic pieces in there, you know, that's what's holding it down. But, you know, like I said, the one by one studs are super, super fragile. It can pop off really easy. I'll give it to that person that said it sucks because of that. I think it could be a lot sturdier, in my opinion. But it does work. Check this out. Look, if I'm, if I'm spinning it now, I'm being gentle. I'm holding down the base plate. I think I'll switch on the slow-mo camera so you guys can see it there. And, you know, if I can spin it super fast, look, still going. And the other thing is, if it doesn't move for you, you're probably just squeezing it all in too tight. If I squeeze it in too tight like that, it might get worse. That's oh, actually better. Yeah, it's like super tight, so it's not rolling now as, as fast. So the trick there is just loosen it up a little bit. Just loosen it up and spin it. Look, now I'm going super fast. Look at that. But yeah, you don't want to grab it from here and lift it up because like I said, it's just very, very delicate. That's the first word that I would say about this set. I like, I do like the chairs. And like I said though, they're not too many figure scale. No, some of them are looser than others. Some of them do spin, some of them don't. But like I said, you can kind of loosen up the wheel a little bit, don't go too crazy. And some of them will start getting looser and looser. And you might have to switch some parts out if you want to be perfect that it swivels. But I love the rainbow look, I love the rainbow color. And I do like the little transparent blues there on the edges and a little, yellow sticks on the middle and side in between that holds them all together. And on the bottom you have the entrance and it says Ferris wheel. That's a printed sign, by the way. It's cannot be modified to fit minifigure scale. Look, I'm thinking, right? If you just take these pieces off here, like around here and take that off and extend it out a little bit, you might be able to get a minifigure on there or two. I don't know, what is that cotton candy on the other side? Is that candy? Or is that like supposed to be like a fruit stand again? No more fruits, please. So there's the Ferris wheel. It's not too bad, but let's move this out of the way and go to the next one. The merry-go-round, the carousel, look at this. It's pretty, again, dang, it's not too many figure scale. I'm gonna mention that every time I show one of these guys, it's not too many figure scale, I know that. But if you try to spin the whole thing, it's gonna spin the plate with it. But if you hold down the plate here and you wanna spin it, look, it's going, man. No problems there, no issues. This one is probably, out of all of them, 
one of the more delicate ones, especially on the top here. It is, it is a little bit loose. It's supposed to be that way so it can spin and it's just being held down by these four little poles on the inside. I like the horsies. Now this one actually might be easier to fit to minifigure scale. You can just double those pieces up on the horses, I'm guessing. It's an extra stud on the outside, so I don't see why not. But it just might look really weird. Like, yeah, maybe micro figures is okay for these. It could work, but the scale will still be slightly off. And there's not much going on here on the entrance. You just got a couple little flowers here on the side. Staircase going up onto the ride. So the merry-go-round actually has printing on it. These are really, really, really small, but they're really cool. And I like them. They have them along the bottom, the guy riding on the horse. And along the top is the actual the ride itself. They're printed on there. It's pretty cool. I like the little colorful lights around the top there. Those are really neat. And the top piece is a little bit flimsy when you put it together, but that looks really cool. I think it's fine. But there you go. It's really tiny, huh? Small. Yeah, merry-go-round. Look at that. It's going around, right? Yeah. This is the spinning octopus. Now, this one, I think this is my second favorite one. First one is going to be the next one that you see is my favorite. So it does kind of spin. It doesn't spin too fast. And this one, it's cool looking, but yeah, function-wise, you know, some of these might drop down because of the weight on the ends are quite heavy on the chairs. They might drop down. See, the pink one dropped a little bit. I think the red one's kind of loose. So I don't know if that can be fixed. If you use a different piece to hold it up or down, you technically can kind of spin it there, spinning. No problems there. This one's actually pretty sturdy. It's pretty good. I do like the colors on the set. I think it's actually pretty cool. It just seems to be the red one that's got a problem. What's wrong with you, freaking red? Overall, I think it's actually really cool. And again, it's not too many figure scale. But I like the design of the chair parts, they're actually pretty cool. These can pop off really easily, like so. They're just held in, not by that piece, but more like this piece can come off pretty easy. So you do have to be a little bit careful with that. But yeah, I think if you're gonna play with these really violently, of course it's gonna fall apart on you. But this is more for like looks, you know? And it does have a little dolphin on there, as you can see. There's looking like a dolphin right now, right there. I think I got the wrong dolphin on here though. It might be a slightly more darker blue. I just pulled this from another set because it looks the same to me. But anyway, same, same, but different. Now, if this is an octopus ride, why did they put a dolphin on top? What is going on there? And underneath the dolphin, you got this yellow ball thing. I didn't realize that it's actually the octopus's face. Interesting, colorful. Now, I like little simple touches like this. They're using white circular studs. That's the tentacle for the octopus. I think that works really, really well. Nothing going on too much on the bottom here of the plate. It's like more grassland looking and you got the ticket booth there and I think that's just like a control room looking thing. So these really aren't to scale. Just like I said, the other one, I wonder if you extended the pieces out here, if you can actually fit the minifigure on. But then if you do that, it might just kind of drop them down for sure. So here's the pirate ship, the last one. This is probably my favorite one. It just looks really cool. I like the ship held pretty good in place and I like the little details around it. And again, it's not too many figure scale. It looks like you can at least fit like two or three minifigures if you modify the chairs inside. I'm just saying it's up to you if you buy this and you want it to be a little bit more to scale or a more of a kiddie ride for the little kids. It's possible. I totally think it's possible. I like the ship itself. The build is actually really good. It's sturdy. It hasn't fallen apart on me yet. And I like the skeleton on the front, the pirate skeleton. That's a cool touch. The cannons on the side. And you got like some treasure in the back there that probably will fall out if you try to flip this thing upside down. The anchor on the back of the pirate ship is pretty cool. You can actually take that off. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's a pretty cool ship. I wonder if this thing would fit in a ship in a bottle. If you haven't seen ship in a bottle, make sure you check it out here. And I like how they use the guns here on the front as like the handles. That's pretty cute. As for the stage itself that's holding up the ship, I do like the design of the crab and the steering wheel. It's very piratey and owl. I'm not quite sure why they chose an owl there, but even underneath the ship, if you go under, it's got the seaweeds or the ocean there with another crab on it. It's a nice touch. And I like the edges. I like all the colorful, colorful. This is a colorful world. So it looks very rainbowy and very colorful. And again, you have a ticket booth here. This is the same situation, right? If you build it really too tight and you like put everything to, oh, this is gonna suck, it's not gonna move. Of course it won't do it. But if you can loosen it up a little bit like that, like so, you're not falling off yet. Do you see anything falling? Like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm getting pretty violent with this thing now. Let's see if this thing can go in a full circle, ready? Oh, hey, I almost made it though. And a couple pieces fell off, not too bad, but look, it's very easy to put back on. So I took the owl off, took the treasure off, take a booth out, and let's see if this thing will actually flip in, in a circle without falling apart. 
Here. Yeah, that worked. Oh, it made like two circles. So I had to get it. Right timing. Once again, it's a time for dimensions. I have the base plate here and I have my bricks for height. It is 12 studs by length and 12 studs by width on all of them, all four of them. So they're exactly the same. And then for the height, it's slightly vary. This Ferris wheel there, if I put this here, is about 18 bricks high, just shy 18 bricks. So you guys have an idea. That's the very top. The merry-go-round is about 12 bricks in height, just shy of that, it's almost there. That's, you know, take the flag off. You get an idea. Okay, next one. Spinning octopus is about 14 bricks in height. Again, a reminder, all of these are 12 by 12 studs on the base plate. And finally, the pirate ship with the freaking owl right there blocking the way, the owl topping it off is around 16 bricks. Without the owl, we're looking at around 14 bricks, as you can see from about here, it's just, just around there. So there you guys go, that's the colorful world from Zing Bao. It's whether or not you like it, or if it's too delicate for you, or if it's not, I hope you guys enjoyed the review anyway. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. More little videos will be coming your way, and I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, break me out! Wow, Scotty, look at all these rides! I'm so excited! Yeah, but you know what, dear? These aren't really up to our size. So, you know, I shrunk myself down. I don't know how you're going to fit on the ride. But I'm going to see if I can fit on these rides. So let's go check them out. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Stairs are so small on this thing. How are we supposed to get in there? Yeah, we're not going to fit in this thing. But you know what? I'm going to try to fit on it. Dear, you just wait for me. Oh, man. Scotty, you look so silly in that thing. At least I fit. Ouch. 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 Dude, did you just push the horse off the thing? Uh, no, that wasn't me. I just wanted to see if I fit this thing. I can barely fit in here. Yeah, I won't even be able to ride you, man. Oh, well, they were so close. But hey, 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 check me out, man. I definitely fit in here. Barely. Ugh. Oh, this thing can barely move me, man. But at least I managed to kind of modify this and sit here. Dear, I'm enjoying this ride at least. Where are you, man? Son of a... On this ride, I will stand on top of it. Let's go to the next one already. Whee! Yay! Finally, a ride we can fit on. Yeah, I can sit back here. Reminds me of the Titanic, dear. Shall we? This is so beautiful, Scotty. Please don't ever, ever leave me. I'm king of the world. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like. Comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. I promise you, Scotty will bring you so much more. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.